Maiko san chi no makanai san, or in English, Kyo in Kyoto from the Maiko House. It's a new 12 episode anime series being released monthly, produced by JC staff. It's based on the original manga of the same name by Aiko Koyama and is currently being serialized in the weekly Shonen Sunday magazine in Japan. The story takes place in Kyoto following two friends, Kyo, who lives and works as a chef in a Maiko house, and Sumire, who is aiming to be the greatest Maiko in Japan. It's a cute, relaxing slice of life series that explores both the traditional world of geisha in Kyoto as well as the joy and comforts of food. I don't expect many casual anime fans to know much about the Karayukai, or the flower and willow world, so I thought I'd make a quick primer on what it's about and some points of interest in this series debut episode. First, let's address the elephant in the room. Geisha are not prostitutes. I repeat, geisha are not prostitutes. This myth has a long and complex history that goes beyond the scope of this video, but it is 100% false. The word geisha is made up of the kanji for art and person, so it literally means art person or just artist. Geisha is the more widely accepted term, but in Kyoto they're known as geiko, which means woman of art. In other areas of Japan, they are sometimes known as geigi. For the purposes of this video, I'll be using the Kyoto term geiko from here on out. In any case, all geiko practice the traditional arts, especially dancing and music, and entertain their customers with their arts, witty conversation, and fun party games. Sex plays absolutely no part in their jobs. Maiko are apprentice geiko and are between the ages of 15 and 21. They typically spend anywhere from three to five years training in their arts in order to finally turn their collar and become geiko. Maiko live and train in a Maiko house called an okia. The okia functions much like a family home, headed by the okasan, or the mother, or okamisan, the proprietress, and the Maiko being like sisters to each other. Indeed, a Maiko or geiko must always call a more senior Maiko or geiko onesan, which means older sister, regardless of their age. At the start of our show, Sumire is a shikomi, which is a girl who is training to become a Maiko. She lives in the Okia and is responsible for doing many of the chores, helping her Maiko sisters with whatever they need, and attending music and dance lessons. In return, she gets to learn the ins and outs of the new world she is now living in, and her Okia sisters and Okasan will help her succeed, teaching her what they know and giving her advice. In real life, if you ever see a girl in plain clothes or basic kimono following a Maiko, she is highly likely to be a shikomi. In the world of geisha, seniority rules over everything. In one scene, Sumire asks for permission to be the first to leave after eating lunch. This is because, as a shikomi earning no income, she is literally at the bottom of the hierarchy. She must listen to everything her older sisters say without talking back or questioning them. If one of her seniors tells her 1 plus 1 equals 3, then she must agree and go along with it. After completing her shikomi stage, Sumire is excited to announce that she will be officially debuting as a maiko. This is definitely very exciting news. Not all shikomi pass the necessary tests to be allowed to debut as a maiko. Many more will leave of their own volition if they find the life of a maiko is not to their liking. Indeed, it seemed Kyo was a shikomi alongside Sumire at one point, but was either told she didn't have the talent for it and was told to quit, or she gave up on her own will or perhaps a combination of both, it's not made very clear. There are different stages of a Maiko's career before she can become a full-fledged Geiko. First, before her official debut, she will become a Minarai. She will be dressed in a modified Maiko outfit and wear the traditional hairstyle called Warai Shinobu and will entertain customers alongside her Maiko and Geiko sisters. A Minarai's only duty is to observe the Maiko and Geiko at work and not much is expected of her at this time. The word minarai accurately translates to learn by watching. Once Sumire debuts, she will become a junior maiko. A maiko's progression as she matures can be seen in the way she looks. A junior maiko wears an all red collar with white embroidery and wears the ware shinobu hairstyle, which is best identified by the red cloth threaded through the top and bottom of the hair bun. Her kimono will also be very flashy with heavy designs all over. A first-tier Maiko will paint only her bottom lip and wear a dangling hair ornament that frames the left side of her face. 
After she's completed her first year, the dangling part of the hair ornament will no longer be worn, and she will begin to paint both lips. A Maiko will usually be promoted to a senior Maiko after around three years. A senior Maiko wears the ofuku hairstyle, signified by the hair bun with the cloth folded into a triangular shape at the bottom of the bun. Her collar becomes all white with white embroidery, except for a patch of red at the nape of the neck. The hair ornament on the left side of her face also becomes simpler. Instead of the multiple small blossoms of a junior Maiko, the ornament will usually only feature one or three larger blooms. Her kimono will also become simpler, featuring designs that mostly stick to the bottom half of her outfit. Geiko looked much different than Maiko, but perhaps that will be for another video. Maiko-san Chi no Makanai-san takes place in Kyoto, the heart of traditional Japan. Kyoto has five official geisha districts, Gionkobu, Pontocho, Kamishichiken, Miyagawacho, and Gion Higashi. It is heavily implied that Kyo and Sumire live in Gionkobu, widely considered to be the most prestigious of the five. First, the lanterns. The lanterns shown in their district are red with white circles connected by vertical white lines. This is similar to Gionkobu's lanterns, which feature a single line of white circles. Fun fact, the circles and lines represent skewered dango, which is how the first geisha district, Kamishichiken, got its start. In any case, another hint is that the series implies Kyo and Sumire's district is right next to Yasaka Shrine, just as Kyo and Kobu is in real life. Third, their okia has its name surrounded by nameplates, showing which Geiko and Maiko are associated with it. While Gion Kobu isn't the only district to do this, they are famous for this practice. The workers of the Kyoto Hanamachi speak a Japanese dialect known as Kyoto-ben, or just Kyoben for short, and is considered a sub-dialect of Kansai-ben. Kyoben is considered a softer way of speaking compared to standard Japanese, and if a shikomi arrives to Kyoto unable to speak it, she will be expected to learn it and speak it consistently before she officially debuts. I'm not fluent in Japanese, uh, so I can't point out all the differences between standard Japanese and Kyoben, but there are a few words to look out for that are different. For example, okini is used instead of arigato, meaning thank you. Okini. Instead of sumimasen, it's sumimahen. Sumai. Instead of hai, it's hei. Hey. Instead of desu, it is dosu. The suffix sun will sometimes be replaced with han, but I don't find this to be entirely consistent. Finally, let's talk about the other workers of the Hanamachi. In the first episode, we're introduced to a former otokoshi, or a male dresser. These men are trained to dress Geiko and Maiko in their heavy and complicated outfits, and it is said that a man's strength is needed to tie a Maiko's heavy obi, which is over 6 meters long. However, otokoshi also act as advisors and mentors, especially for the younger Maiko who are still finding their footing. In some districts, including Gion, it is common for otokoshi to act as escorts during a Maiko or Geiko's debut, as they visit the other okia or tea house to do their greetings. Kyo is another worker of the Kariyukai. It is indeed common for okia to hire outside help for things such as cooking and cleaning. However, I imagine it's highly unlikely for an okia to employ a teenager in this role. Maiko-san Chi no Makanai-san takes place in a highly secretive and complex world steeped in tradition that most people are not privy to. So far, as someone who has been a fan of the Maiko and Geiko of Kyoto for several years, I've been impressed with the accuracy and amount of research that seems to have gone into this series, and I'm excited to see more and watch Sumire chase her dreams. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned more about this fascinating world. If you're interested in learning more or watching other videos about the Maiko and Geiko of Kyoto, I've included some links in the description box below. Towards the end of this series, maybe I'll create another video to tie things up a bit more and provide some more factoids, but for now, I hope this is enough of a primer to get you through the series. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!